Here we go. instruments that we used on on the album this is um, a, what you would call a modern day darabuka that's from Egypt um, originally found in um, North Africa um, made from pottery like uh, earthenware and uh, the original skin that they've actually used on the uh, African drums were uh, fish skins so it's uh, quite an, uh, an interesting instrument This one is from North Africa. It may not have been its origin, and all of the goblet type drums have been, you know, known for basically to come from everywhere around the world, and you know, basically started everywhere as a, as a means of communication uh, before anything. This one originates from India. Um, originally, these were of wood finish, but in the uh, early 1600s, when uh, the then renowned alchemist named Avedes from Avedes Zildjian, who was the, also the symbol creator, um, they started making or trying to make these metal drums, and thus this is what they turned out like in you know, goblet and shape and, and so on, with great tonal quality. Harmonium, uh, it dates back, it's, it's European in origin, uh, it was brought out to India sometime in the 18th century, 19th century, and uh, basically you have a, it's, it's a reed organ uh, with bellows in the back that compress the air and force it through uh, various metal reeds that are lifted by pressing the keys. Uh, you can control the pressure uh, with these valves here. Uh, these are controlling octaves, the odd ones, and the even ones are controlling triangles. This particular harp guitar here uh, was made in 1916, and. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I think they were only made until uh, the early 20s. Uh, this was, I think this was the last year, though, in, uh, in which Orville Gibson, the founder of the Gibson Guitar Company, oversaw the manufacturing of these instruments uh, firsthand. So, uh, as I've been told, this, is, uh, this one is one of six in existence. <laughs> This is a very, very basic hurdy-gurdy. The ones that are played by the, uh, the good players, which is not me, um, are ones that are chromatic, usually two keyboards. Uh, this is a very simple hurdy-gurdy, very basic. It's only a four-string model, whereas um, the more elaborate hurdy-gurdies, the, uh, the professional ones, are usually six-string and have something called a buzzing bridge, which gives, lends it its rhythm. You find it played 
primarily in the uh, provinces of France, the more rural provinces. It's the folk instrument of France. And uh, it's also actually found, um, oddly enough, in our own backyard here in Canada in uh, the province of Quebec. Um, so it has its, it has its roots in uh, French culture. And also um, the Irish and the English have tended to embrace it from time to time. I actually first got interested in this instrument when I witnessed um, a concert by the, the English-Australian duo Dead Can Dance, if you're familiar with their music. Lisa Gerard, the, the singer in Dead Can Dance, one of the singers, she frequently on stage in concert plays um, the Yang Chin, the Chinese version of this instrument, very, very beautifully and very, it's a very ethereal instrument, the way she plays it, and that's what that's what really inspired me to pick this up for the edges of Twilight. This instrument is uh, very percussive, uh, as opposed to its its counterpart in the sitar, whereas the sitar is a bit more of a, a gentle, um, transient instrument. This is a very aggressive, percussive instrument, as Indian instruments go. This is the guitar of Turkey, primarily the acoustic guitar of Turkey. It's called a it's called a saz, and it has seven strings on it, and actually really three strings, but um, the top two are doubled, and the bottom melody string is tripled. So essentially, seven strings. This is actually, this is one of the first exotic instruments that I ever picked up. Uh, I got this in a pawn shop, I think for about $250, $300. And, um, you know, this sort of whet my appetite for uh, things to come, I suppose. So I've kind of just stuck with this one, and I've never really bothered to uh, venture into those double... Thank you. 